Hi there, and welcome to my YouTube video. Um, if you've ever bricked your galaxy, this is what it'll probably look like. I've um, unfortunately bricked my galaxy um, today. Fortunately, it's it's a soft brick. Okay, when you power it up, that's what you're left with. You know, um, if you take the battery out and put the battery back in it, it makes no difference. But, don't panic. If your free button combination works, you can simply just take the battery out, okay, and put it into download mode, force it into download mode by pressing volume down, home and your power button and what that will do is it will put the phone back into download mode and then you can flash new firmware back onto it but if your phone doesn't go into the download mode and your free button combination isn't working it's not all um, doom and gloom at the moment what you'll need is one of these, it's a jig and basically this jig will force the phone into download mode and that will allow us to to flash new firmware so if we plug the jig in ok let's put that there just to let you see that I'm not touching anything plug the jig in and the phone will automatically go into download mode and that will allow you to to flash new firmware onto the phone right what you'll need to do now is connect your PC to the, the computer you're going to flash the, the new um, ROM with um, you'll need to plug your plug your USB cable in like so <laughs> Um, and offer your USB cable to your to your phone. Okay. Now your computer will pick up. It will pick up the phone. Okay. Now I've got Odin already set up with the new file ready to flash. And. Back, back on it. I'll just set that there. And now we'll start the flash. Okay, we'll come out a lot. Now, as you can see, it's starting to load up here, and it's also starting to load up on the phone. So, once that's finished loading up, um, that will be our phone recovered and um, it will all be happy again with a bit of luck right, that's our phone almost downloaded the, the new firmware I'm putting JPY back on it and once it's downloaded this will flash blue it will say reset and then it will say pass and your phone will then reboot there we go now what will happen is the phone will start to load up the files that it's downloaded as you can see there and basically um, that's the phone now recovered from its soft brick if you don't have a jig and your free button combination doesn't work then I'm afraid that you're going to have to put it in for repair um, to a Samsung Centre or um, alternatively buy a jig but you can also make make a jig as well on the XDA developers website there's, um, there's a good guide that shows you how to rebuild a get a phone working again and build, a, build an actual jig you know, you can you can build them for just a couple of pounds, and um, you can also buy them on eBay again for a couple of pounds. I mean, they're not expensive. And there you see it. That's the phone now booted back up. 
and it appears to be to be happy and working. We'll just check it once the media scanner's completed. That seems to be it. That seems to be it now. Let's cancel that. And now it's it's asking us to input our our settings again. Let's get it in view for you. And there you go. That's the phone repaired itself and we're, we're back up and running again as you can see I'm back on my JPY firmware and it's Froyo 2.2.1 so that's how you recover a phone that's that's bricked and um, I hope that this has been been useful to you this video just to let you see that that's it working again I'll power the phone down once it vibrates, I'll power it back up and that will let you see that it's, that it's fully operational. That's it starting to go now. And load up. So that's how you, you get your, your Samsung Galaxy S working again if you unfortunately happened to to brick it okay once again folks thanks for watching and i hope this video has been been of some good use to you cheerio